Hey everybody, Aubrey here with Dev Central over at F5, and I wanted to take a moment to show you a little bit of a project that I worked on a few years back, which needed to have managed BGP via Ansible so that my customer could insert horizontally scaled uh, high performance VE firewalls into an application environment of theirs. So to do this, I had to use native Ansible modules. We don't have anything that would, uh, well, besides uh, Big IP command in more recent versions of, uh, of TMOS, but my customer had an older version of TMOS, and so I needed to use native Ansible modules so that I could utilize SSH as a transport and make use of the block and file, line and file, and shell modules. I'll show you how it's done. First things first, we have to make an adjustment to our hosts file to accommodate Ansible using SSH as a transport instead of our HTTPS that F5 Big IP Ansible modules utilize. So uh, to do this and use other um, Big IP Ansible functionality in the same nested playbooks, I simply put in a test SSH designation for my host and you can see here that I've used a, a, the actual password, but if you are keyed, you can also do this without a password. So, um, and, and this is how that they ended up going to production with this deployment, um, but using the password was done for the sake of a proof of concept. Um, you can go ahead and <laughs> set up your SSH keys in your own deployment. So, uh, besides that, let's take a look at the actual file itself. So if I less bgp.yaml, we can see at the top that I've got my test SSH designated as my host. And as I move down, we can see that I have um, some pretty normal bash aliases here that I use throughout this file. So we've got the CEV4, uh, CEV6, and a couple of different services, services one and two here that were uh, pushed through these firewalls. Now we also notice that I use e IMISH to end a file so that I can scriptify my IMISH uh, BGP settings. Then I go into enable and configuration. After that, I simply apply all of my BGP settings as I would need uh, with my neighbor statements here that are pulling their IP addresses from up at the top of the script. We do the same thing down here for V6. So you can see that there really isn't a difference when you're looking at V6 for this. And then after we've done our BGP settings, the next thing that we need to do since we use the block in file, which will actually set a, uh, a portion of the file as managed by Ansible using a pound sign or hashtag for you new kids on the block. Um, so in order to actually correct this and make a usable workable script, I used the line in file module to insert the typical bash settings right before my Ansible managed block. So you can see that I just added pound bang bin bash to the very beginning. And then at the end of this, I use the shell module of Ansible to simply apply my BGP configuration. And that really is all there is to managing BGP for your big IP with Ansible. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Aubrey with Dev Central.